What's up guys, I'm SDN Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. I think you guys have asked for the Red Fox since like 1987. Like before Planet Zoo was even conceived, you guys were out there asking for the Red Fox and this model looks absolutely freaking stunning. Look at the little blue-eyed one in the back. Now, there's there's something coming out with that. Um, remember they said it's like a new feature. I can't think of the word right off the top of my head, but look at that variation. Look at the little bit of gray on that one's shoulders and the blue eyes. Just, they just absolutely kill it with these shaders and these textures. Look at this little guy. I don't, I definitely see... I don't see any new foliage jumping right out at me, but yeah, cause we've got those, eh, we've got those little leaves. Um, the only thing that really does jump out is a little more of a misted version of that really kind of twisted looking tree that you see in the trailer kind of back there menacingly. But yeah, I just wanted to jump in and get your guys' thoughts on the Red Fox. Um, I know we don't cover screenshots much anymore, but this guy, like I said, was was just a little too cool to pass up. And um, I think this this is one of those animals that I think could help me when I talk about downsizing these habitats a little bit and not having these big, massive, you know, 200 acre enclosures that are not anywhere near possible in a in you know in an actual zoo setting. Um, this stuff like this is going to help so freaking much. Um, this and, you know, too, the raccoons. I already was thinking about some ideas for Beyond Wolf, uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. Remember, I've actually even already started a few months ago a really tiny enclosure. Um, what in the world were we going to put in there? I can't. Were we going to do anteaters? I don't something in there we were going to put that didn't require a lot of space. But I mean, look at this animal list going into this. And you guys know me. I'm not really ever 1000% into the animals. I mean, we know this is Planet Zoo, but it's also Planet have given us a thousands of awesome scenery pieces to design with. And that's kind of where S Dan spends his time. But uh, this pack, this pack particularly when they announced this animal set, I immediately started thinking about existing projects. Like, remember, I kind of said, unfortunately for our European badgers that are in Lost Creek, they may have to make some room for the skunk or the, uh, the you know, the, the red fox here, the raccoons. Um, I don't usually get this, I don't usually get this flow of ideas for the animal list. Now, of course, you know, we've, we've had the big ones forever. So, of course, I design for the lions, elephants, giraffes, stuff like that. But when you get to these, like, really, you know, I hate to call it niche type of roster, but this is a, this is a pretty niche little pack. You're not, you know, you don't usually just see, um, you know, raccoons just being featured in a zoo. But I think for some of the projects that I have lined up, this little pack is going to work perfect. And I think that's what's got me more excited on the animal side of this more than I typically am. But um, yeah, you guys will have to let me know, is Red Fox 1 on your list? And now we know the Egyptian, uh, like the Egyptian bat, the Red Fox, the skunk, the raccoons. Um, what animal is still not checked off of your list? I guess that's what I would want to know, um, because I will tell you, now that the game is going on, you know, it's coming up on, what, it's three-year anniversary, the consensus of, 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 a, uh, of a specific animal is not coming up as much anymore. Now, outside of the elephant in the room, everybody wants birds. I'm talking about, like, the red fox. When are we going to get the red fox? Red fox, red fox. Like that, now that we're getting that, that animal is not out there anymore. I'm not hearing, a, a, like I said, a, a specific animal that rings out and you wonder, why haven't they given that to us yet? There's like 80 people that mention this throughout the DLC cycle. I don't, I don't really know what that is. Like, can you guys think of, of anything that's not now a very specific want for you personally like 
what is being left out now that you would have thought would have been a given a two years ago? I I can't think of any other example outside of Red Fox. Um, you know, I mean, the foxes, um, I'm an aquarium guy, but even that's kind of personal and kind of, kind of niche like to me, you know, I mean, I've always kind of said, I wish we had sharks and stingrays and fish and stuff like that. Um, but that's really kind of like pipe dream, pipe dream, probably never going to happen type stuff, but animals, um, Come on, let's just rack our brains here. Um, it just, it all comes back to birds. I I can't think of any, like, mammals that you, that you guys mention a lot consistently. Mm, I don't know. You guys have to let me know. Let me know and we'll see if these kind of stack up down below and we'll be like, oh yeah, of course. Why haven't they added that yet? But yeah, I just wanted to jump in and show you this model if you haven't had a chance to catch this tweet today or if you don't have your notifications turned on. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal. The fur, the whiskers, the eyes. Look how look how much life are in those eyes. There that is really really a personable creature that we have coming. Look at that. That's just they've just done it. Just like always, the art department, the animation department absolutely killed it and uh, cannot wait to see these guys in game um but yeah let me know your thoughts like i said i know red fox was big on everybody's list now what else are you waiting for what could come what kind of pack do you think it could be in and uh yeah just kind of let us know and anyways i'm stan wolf as always thank you for stopping by real quick and hanging out with me and i'll catch you in the next video